Would you like to see your own gaming highlight clip blow up on Instagram just like this one here? Then keep watching. Yo Mr. Emu, my name is Rayo and today I will help you upload your first gaming highlight clip to Instagram in a way that actually helps you grow. If you're not sure why you should even create content in the first place then make sure you check out this video but otherwise I'm gonna jump over to my computer here and then we can get started. I'll see you there. Alright, so I'm on my PC now, let's bring up the desktop. You can follow along this video and pause when you need while you're going through the process with me. That way you can make sure that you're doing everything correctly. I have my highlight clip here that I got from my birthday stream. And all we need to do is open this in our favorite video editing software. My absolute favorite is of course Adobe Premiere Pro. But for the sake of this video, I actually downloaded yesterday a free video editing software called DaVinci Resolve. If you don't have any software yet, then the link for DaVinci Resolve is down in the description. And from what I've seen so far, it's really easy to use. And since it is my second time ever using DaVinci Resolve, then I expect myself to be a little bit uh, clumsy today. But I think it's fine and we'll get through it. All right, so let's drag this clip into the media pool. And for Instagram videos, we need to have clips that are maximum one minute long. So what we're going to do now here is we're going to cut this video down just a little bit. So I'm going to go and look for the start of the clip, which is right about before my first kill here, right about here. And I'm going to press I on the keyboard so I can mark this start. And then I'm going to do the same on my on the end of the clip and i'm gonna press o on the keyboard now let's grab the clip and put it on our timeline and let's also go to the edit section here so already i have my one versus four ace clutch clip ready to go but it looks a bit basic right now so in order to make this more interesting and more attractive to our potential new followers we're gonna add a little bit more personality to it and make it more fun to watch and we're gonna do that by adding some subtitles so i'm gonna go and find where my teammate actually called that i'm gonna clutch this round it's right about here and we're gonna zoom in in the timeline by holding down alt key and scrolling up with our mouse okay, yeah. okay, green will win it. and we okay, found green. it okay. so now we need to add text here we're gonna go back to cut section we're gonna go to titles up here we're gonna take this text and we're gonna pull it onto the timeline make it a little bit shorter and now I'm gonna go back to edit section click on the text and here I can see that it's already appearing on the screen. Now we can change it. Change it. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to change the color to green because it's not me talking right now. It's my teammate. And I want to make sure that viewers understand and they can actually different, differentiate between the people who are talking. And I found that different colors on text is one of the best ways to do it. I'm going to pull it down a little bit. I'm also going to change the font because I don't like the default one. I'm going to I'm gonna go for the passion one, it's one of my favorites. It looks pretty good. And one more thing we need to do is, is come down here and add a little bit of stroke. Not too much, but enough so it will stand out. I think that's enough. And let's take a look. Okay, green will Okay, green. Okay, it's a really short short right now, so I'm gonna zoom in here and drag it until the end of this of the sentence. Okay, green will win it. Right about here. Okay, green will win it. Yeah, I think that's good. So I'm gonna do the same thing over a couple more sentences and I'm gonna speed up the video, so I'll see you soon. Yo. All right, welcome back and let's take a look. Okay, green will win it. No. Yeah. Yes. The rope card, man. No. Uh, this was a little short here, so I'm gonna make this a little bit longer. Just like this. And I think that's fine, and I think we are pretty much ready. And we managed to make this video so much more interesting and more fun to watch by just adding a couple of subtitles. It doesn't take that much. So in my opinion, it looks really good already, but there's one more final touch that we need to do. And that is in order to help people from explore page or our profile page, find that video and actually tap on it. Then we got to add a thumbnail that's at least somewhat attractive that it attracts more audience to our videos. And to do that, we need to add a thumbnail right at the start of the video here. So I'm going to zoom in again by pressing alt 
and scrolling up with my mouse and I'm gonna drag the video a couple frames further from the start right about here and this here this space here is where we're gonna put our thumbnail so I'm gonna take my thumbnail and drag it onto the timeline I'm gonna make it shorter so it fits correctly and uh, that's it so my thumbnail as you can see it's 16 by 9 but obviously on Instagram you can only see square thumbnails so Instagram will automatically cut out the edge of my thumbnail but it's okay because I already thought about that and I made sure that all the necessary information is in the center of my thumbnail now as you can see it doesn't look really that good like it's really amateurish thumbnail but that's already fine that's my point just by adding at least something as a thumbnail is much better than nothing and will already catch much more attention than it was before. So now that our video is 100% ready for exporting, we're gonna go here into the deliver section and I'm gonna choose Vimeo, but I'm, I am gonna change the resolution to 1280 to 720 because it really doesn't matter on Instagram. All right, quick tip, I'm editing this video right now and I noticed that what does matter is that you choose for format you choose mp4 instead of quicktime if you choose quicktime then instagram will not let you upload it but if you choose mp4 then it's good all right let's continue and i'm gonna add this to render queue we're gonna choose the file destination here and i'm gonna rename it to highlight clip i know extremely original and then it's gonna pop up right here and we're gonna press start render so after it's done rendering, we need to figure out a way to get this video to our phones because unfortunately the only way we can upload videos to Instagram is through our phones. I recommend you use any cloud storage you have, I use Google Drive or if you're old school then you can use the cable as well. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag this clip into my Google Drive and that's it, we have finished our job on the computer. We already have a really good looking video clip that's guaranteed to catch some attention. So let's jump into our phones and let's upload our first gaming highlight clip. Also if you've been enjoying this video so far then make sure you press the like button for the YouTube algorithm so more people can find this video. And if you haven't yet then make sure you subscribe as well with the notification bell on if you want to learn more about content creation and building your own personal brand. Anyways I'm gonna go get my phone now and I'll see you there. All right, I got my phone here. Let's bring up the screen. And once you have your video file on your phone, let's open up Instagram and let's start our uploading process. First, make sure that you're using the full resolution by pressing that button here. And then we are almost ready. Here's our thumbnail. One of the most important things about our post is our first sentence. So here we gotta write something really catchy. First sentence is so important because it's the first thing the viewers read. So if it's attractive and it catches their attention, they will stay and they will watch the video. If it's not attractive, they will not even stop on your video and they will just scroll past you. To add even more personality to our Instagram clips and potentially turn our followers into fans, we can even add more personality. We should add some context around this video so the followers can get to know us a little bit better. So because this clip was from my birthday stream, then I'm gonna write a short paragraph about that. All right, so now that's done, we can even go ahead and add some more details to make sure that people who are not yet following us would turn into our followers. All we need to do now is add some hashtags. If you watch this video on how to grow your Instagram page, then you should already know everything you need to know about hashtags. If you haven't, then make sure you go and watch it right now. But since I've already done my research on hashtags, I'm just gonna copy and paste them from my notes. And there we go. We are finally ready to post our first gaming highlight video. So let's go and pre press that share button here. And to get even more eyes on our newly posted video, let's make sure to share it on our Instagram stories as well. Now, if you wanna see the original clip that I posted that I made in Adobe Premiere Pro, then make sure you check out my Instagram. And now, all that's left to do for you is go get some more highlights and repeat those steps over and over until you have reached your goals on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. GG.